Five ways to play videos on an ATEM. Hey there streamers, Zeph and Moses here, and in this video we're talking all about the five different ways that you can play videos into an ATEM. I won't waste any time in today's video, but all I ask is if you enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Starting off with method number one, and that is to use QuickTime Player if you're on a Mac. Sorry PC users, but I rarely use a PC, so this method may not be for you. I'm sure Windows Media Player might be able to do something for you here. This method is my favorite because at any given time, I'm bringing anywhere from two to four MacBooks with me on a live stream, and QuickTime is fairly forgiving with the video files and formats that you open. The reason why I like this method is because it's simple. Just put the videos in a folder on your desktop, connect your laptop to your ATEM using an HDMI cable, and set your computer to mirroring so that what displays on the laptop also displays on your output. Don't forget, you'll also need to set your sound to output over the HDMI cable. Once you open the video that you want to show, place it in full screen mode, move your mouse cursor off to the side of the screen, and after a second or two, the cursor along with the control bar will disappear. To play your video, just press the space bar. The downside to this method is that you can't monitor how much time is left in your video, but it's a quick and easy method when you're in a pinch. Method number two. This has quickly become my favorite method for playback videos, and that is to use MIDI. MIDI is a Mac-friendly app, but don't worry PC friends, I've got a few coming for you, and it's compatible with the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, which means I can output a video signal using Thunderbolt, and it will convert to either HDMI or SDI with this nifty little device. I'll link to both MIDI and the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G below this video for you to check it out. The reason why I like this method so much is because I don't need any additional converters to get SDI output, and Ultra Studio is powered using the Thunderbolt cable connected to my laptop, so that's one less AC power cord to plug in. Simply open up MIDI, drag and drop all of your video files into the left-hand playlist column, and set your video output to use the Blackmagic as well as your audio output. In MIDI, you can reorganize your clips, have them fade in or fade out, and you can even emulate a hyperdeck so your ATEM can trigger MIDI to play the videos back. Another benefit here is being able to tell how much time is left in your video playback. MIDI has a ton of functions that you simply won't get from a typical playback software or hardware. Method number three. This one is for all of you PC fans. Simply embed your video into a PowerPoint slide. By adding the video to a PowerPoint computer, you can connect the computer via HDMI to your ATEM and advance slides. This is a good method if you need to mix in full screen graphics along with your video playbacks. Just make sure that you know what order it goes in as you won't be able to view the video before playing it. Also, don't forget to make sure that your audio output is set to output over your HDMI cord so that it goes into your ATEM. Method number four. This one again is great for the PC or the Mac users. Method number four is to use OBS for video playback. Open up OBS and create a scene with a media source and add your video into it. You'll see there's some settings to check regarding your video playback before adding it to your scene, such as restart playback when source becomes active. Then let's head over to the audio gear settings and choose advanced audio properties. Here we'll change audio monitoring to monitor and output. Next, let's jump into the OBS settings. Select the audio tab and under the advanced section, make sure your audio monitoring device is set to your HDMI output. Lastly, right click on your preview window and choose windowed projector preview. When the window projector screen pops up, right click on that screen and select full screen to send it to your HDMI output. All right, we've made it to number five. Method number five, and this one is probably my least favorite, which is why I saved it for last, is to use a hyperdeck for playback. And the reason why this is my least favorite is because Blackmagic did not make that easy for us. The hyperdecks are very picky about the types of SD cards that are used for video playback, but they're also picky about what codec and file format is used too. If you wanna learn more in depth how to use the hyperdecks for playback, you can watch my video I made a little while back on how to do that. I'll link to it below. Now, I know that these are not the only ways to playback videos into an ATEM. For example, some of you might be using VLC player, or some of you might have bought those cheap video players that take an SD card or USB flash drive. 
There's no right or wrong, but I will say from experience, MIDI has been my favorite when playing videos despite the steep price tag, and it has made bigger events with tons of media so much easier to manage. So what's your favorite way to play back videos into a live stream? Leave me a comment down below to share your method, and maybe we'll test it out. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button below. I'll be seeing you soon.